forget to use code DINGER20 in the G Fuel shop to get 20% off of your G Fuel order. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dinger City. I'm Crit Nick. I'm City Hall. And we got a slobber knocker of a game for you today. Lionel <laughs> versus <laughs> Tyler. And uh, these, these, these folks typically have pretty, uh, pretty even matchups. Um, however, Tyler remarked something interesting, and I think you might see it sort of as a make or break throughout the season. Uh, L Train has six starred characters. Yes, we, we're, for those of you just clicking on the video, we have interstarred league here. You could have, we, we drafted, there was a draft stream. You could pause the beginning of the video to see who's starred on what teams, figure it out. Fire Mario with a fireball to Anyways, fire good. right field. Are we scoring? Yoshi is in! Yes, he is. Oh my god, is That's that a starred, starred Boshi? That was starred Yoshi. He made it the around the- fastest him. character conceivable? And he actually is next to starred Toadette. They, they're tied. Well, isn't a bunch of starred characters tied? I don't know speed caps. Oh. I think uh, power caps at 100, I think, in normal baseball like this. Um, Massively outer versally faster than light. Yeah, pretty, pretty <laughs> much. Uncapped multipliers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's a crazy thing to say. Is that a home run? Yes, oh! it is! Dude, Feats okay. of strength beyond reason coming out of KB. You're on fire with these calls today, man. Tyler goes up 3-0 in this ball game, and you know what? Screw Diddy Kong. That's what I'm going to say. It's his fault. All starred pitchers have a form of curse ball. I don't know if Green Bones has his own curse ball on top of that, but the ball what's is curse, cursed for what's, sure. What's curse ball? For those here? of you who don't know, curse ball is a hidden ability in Mario Superstar Baseball wherein a charged hit will go less far if you are hitting against a pitcher who possesses cursed ball. That was perfect. That was great. Thank you. And uh, I'll tell you what, man. Knowing who your opponent has starred and who doesn't can really make the difference in certain oh! situations here. I'm surprised he threw the yeah. third there. It was good. It was really good. Um, oh, Ken. Whoever, I think that was Bowser Jr., slopped that thing in. And it, uh, without a star, it probably would have been uh, safe. Three runs in the first inning. On four hits. Off to a good start. We got the starred pitcher, Daisy. Uh, you're going to notice, man, these, <laughs> these starred pitchers are very, very good. What? Wow. The kickball. And oh, my I, God. What an arm on starred Boshi. And Rosalina, look at that. New. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, uh, someone in the club, I won't name names, uh, requested we put on Rosalina. Boshi's going to be what in that catch. play, no problem. Um, and you know what? She looks pretty good. Yeah. I think she looks pretty good. Uh, it's cool to see Peach Blonde. <laughs> It's yeah, cool man. to see Peach in blue. That's what I'm... Yeah, there you go. It's um, definitely a blonde. It is blonde. blonder, it's like for sure. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, Peach is... I'm playing a game right now where Peach definitely is not blonde. Um, let me think of the game. Okay. Paper Mario. It is, yeah, yeah, we just <laughs> was, talked about it. I had some context. Started. I was Paper at an advantage. Paper Mario. Her, it might still be like dirty blonde, but it definitely is not like her iconic blonde color. She's pretty yellow a lot of the time. Well, yeah, yeah, sure. But like when hair is yellow, I don't call it yellow. I call it blonde. Yeah, that's true. You know, so. Um, but yeah, it's. I feel like it's a little darker in that game. I don't know. I'm a By toxic way, hair color analysis. Sorry, continue. I was just going to say Paper Mario 64. It's my first time playing through it. The game's really good. I, mean, I just got the Shy Guys toy box. It's World 4. I, I do like General Guy. I, I like the look of him. I haven't met him yet, dude. Wow. You just spoiled it. Holy crap. <laughs> I fucking hate you, dude. Um, I'm not going to play the game so, anymore. Tsk, fair enough. I've been playing that game, and I also just started uh, Shadow of the Colossus again for the first time since high school, because I never beat it in high school. And I think I, I think I got the balls to do it this time. In high school, I don't think I was ready. There's, you know, I'm getting a lot better at video games as I age. I've noticed that. When I go back and play games I've played before, they're like, it's not even like they're easy. I, I just follow the formula and the game finishes itself. Yeah, well, once you like grow a brain, a lot of games aren't like hard anymore, you know? They, they appeal to the lowest common denominator, and, and now I'm the second lowest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too good for most of these games. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I kind of noticed that sometime in college, I had a lot of time one summer and I went back and I played a lot of games that I had already played but never beaten as a kid like Lion King for the Super Nintendo for one that game is actually just kind of stupid and hard uh, but I beat it for the first time ever uh, that summer um, and a bunch of ground? other oh no ground. we oh, we're 
Uh oh, we're in a pickle. Oh, what no. the? First and third tough. is not what we wanted. No, not at all. That we had a we had the runners in a great position and uh, we just flubbed it there. That was unfortunate. But I went back and beat a lot of games that I couldn't beat as a kid. One game and there were some that I got to the very end and just couldn't beat. One game that that was the case with, that I actually just could not beat. Building tension. Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Fuck that final boss. Really? Are you kidding final me? Final boss of an RPG? Dude, he just heals every turn. And I, I like literally with the resources I had, couldn't out damage him. Do you think it's like a a knowledge check? Like you had to equip the cricket badge or something? Yeah, it's cricket badge. Oh. Uh. For sure. It's not cricket, like it's not Paper Mario, like where you need to make your hammer make a fucking frog sound. Yeah, for the boss. it was an analogy. But there are, it's, I looked it up and it was like, yeah, this boss is really, really hard. There's a certain badge combo that will help. Oh, and I was okay. like, well, I don't think I have those. <laughs> and I was, it was like, yeah, you have to do this, this, this. And I was like, I'm done. I'm not, I'm good. <laughs> wow, Rosalina Peach with a crazy play there. Right at the top of her hitbox, it looks like. It was a really nice play. But fuck that shit, I couldn't beat it. I was pissed. The only games I don't beat anymore are just games like I don't really feel like it. Sim, Sim Theme Park? Wasn't feeling it. Can you beat Sim Theme Park? Yeah. You can oh. at least get past the first park. I didn't do that. <laughs> Thrillville crazy. Off the Rails I do not own. That was a question coming from Tyler, one of our yeah, yeah, yeah. players. Have you? Here's an interesting question for you, and chat is going to go through some uh, nostalgia if they know what I'm talking about. Did you ever play the My Sims games? It, I've watched my cousin play a tiny bit. Wake up. Nope, he's still sleeping. Uh, my Sims Kingdom. Goat. <laughs> I see Colin in the background. My Sims Kingdom. Fucking goat. Um, Agents was the other one that I played as well when I was younger. Agents was tight. You ever played Boom Blocks? Boom box? Yeah. Is that the one with the monkeys and the tower defense? I, uh, maybe. It's a physics-based... Uh, nah, that's Wii. Bloons. That's Bloons. I skill-checked you. That's Bloons. Oh, well, I know you checks. know what Bloons is, so I assumed you weren't... Uh, you would have just said Bloons. You know that I know what Bloons is. And you know that I know that you know what Bloons is, so... Yeah. One of the funniest... I've never played Bloom Blocks. One of the funniest moments of my college career. I don't even... It's. It was so long ago, I forget what it was either <laughs> i i heard you know like pop 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 coming out of my college room door i don't remember if i thought it was balloons and it was something else or if i thought it was something else and it was balloons wait balloon like wait. balloons the game Sorry. so somebody was in your college dorm you play <laughs> me yeah playing balloons it must have been sex then <laughs> Unless you played a lot of balloons in I'm college. Be, Andrew, I'm going to be so straight up with you. Never once have I played balloons. Damn. There we go. In I my life. Was, I think it was around the time where, like, my other sweet mates, like Sam and stuff, were on a balloons kick. <laughs> so just hearing, like, consistent popping behind the wall, I'm like, all right. They're on stage one of balloons. And then I, and then I think I was like... They've been on stage one of Bloons a little too long. <laughs> and then you heard pop, 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 pop. And I'm like, oh, oh there it is. All right. He upgraded two. his dart stage monkey. Stage two. <laughs> and then you heard, oh, fuck. It's like, I'm oh, like, he lost? Wait, wait. he lost on stage <laughs> two? What the <laughs> hell? Damn. Wait, good, wait, wait. <laughs> good Bloons joke. Thanks. And then, and it wasn't then a you, joke. It was my heard, life. And then, and then you heard me say, I'm going to come. And, <laughs> and I'm like, like ah, he's really winning. He's wow, doing wow. great. You know, it's really interesting people who get sexual gratification from things that aren't sexual activity, so. Yeah, name an example. Me playing balloons. <laughs> oh, <laughs> true. All right. That was uh, the worst out uh, of Dinger City history. That was, uh, I'm that was a off bunt the out. leaderboard, baby. No, <laughs> you're Slip still. down to number two. You're number two. <laughs> eh, it's still bad. It's still really bad. <laughs> Um, no. I've had extremely similar outs to that. What was your favorite? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what, what was your favorite uh, browser game? Oh, that's up. an awesome question. It was it was Motherload. What's Motherload? It is a game where you play as a little ship with a drill. You get shipped off to Mars, and you need to dig down to get precious metals that you sell to upgrade your drill and your gas capacity, etc. Okay. You, you should give it a try it. tonight.
Is it fun? It's is fun. It's still on. And and you'll you'll lose and move on in like an hour. Okay. The the problem with the game is that like it's it's permadeath and it's like a four hour game wow. and sometimes you just die and it's bullshit because okay. the game's not put together very well. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but it's an awesome game. I appreciate that. Tyler said mine over there before. If you guys heard him, Raft Wars. Yeah. Revenge. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Ra Raft Wars. Honestly, thinking about some of the characters, a little racist. I don't remember the racist, but I believe it. Definitely, definitely go back and check out some of those characters. Early browser oh, games wow. were not known for their wokeness. No. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think of if there was a game on Webkins or Club Penguin that I was like big into, you know. Um, Cause I definitely played a lot of Webkins and Club Penguin growing up. How many Webkins did you guys have? Leave a comment down below. I think I fucking had over a hundred. It was the only thing I liked for like three years. Oh my so God. every gift was Webkins. No what more video hit? games. Home. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, Sweet home run. Hundred Webkins. I think so. I think a few more. Oh only only a few have survived. Not online. How many they, repeats? They live digital. Uh, none? What? I, I didn't even I, know there were a hundred webkins. There definitely were a lot. There God. were a lot. And they can't they made more like every few months. What's your rarest webkin? You have like a platinum unicorn? Wait, I don't think that's a thing. You have a um <laughs> I don't know, actually. That's a great question. Because the only rare webkins when I was playing were the cheeky ones. The cheeky dog, cheeky cat, and uh, cheeky monkey. I'm unfamiliar. Oh, they're they're cute. I'll show you after if you remind me. All right. They're, Jack, put up a pit. No, Jack's not here. <laughs> He's not going to hear this part. Um, no, but they were like ones that they retired very early mm. into like webkins' existence. So they, uh, they were like the rare ones, you know? But... I don't, I don't know, because I just had so many, and then I stopped playing a few years after. Now, who knows? I used to play a lot of browser games, man. I don't know why. Happy they're, Wheels? They're not, I play a little bit of Happy Wheels. Tiny bit. Uh, what about uh, some of the games on like Cartoon Network and uh, stuff like that? Didn't Disney. play many show-based games. I played a little bit of SpongeBob Kart Racer. Um, a little bit of SpongeBob yeah. Patty Dash. Can I can I Diner Dash. can I change the area this conversation is in? Absolutely. CDs. Ooh, like Di computer like computer disc. games. I've Does only, that change things? I've only owned one in my entire life. It was my sister's. It's called Gearheads. I found out the name recently because there's a guy on TikTok who's like, describe your favorite game that you forgot the name of and I'll find it. And then I described it in a comment and then I'm wow. like, maybe let me Google it so that I don't look like an idiot. And then I found it immediately when I Googled it. So I left another comment saying, hey, I Googled it. I'm an idiot, sorry. It's called Gearheads. It's a game where you wind up toys and it's two player. And then you, you put the toy down and it walks. If, if it makes it to your opponent's side of the field, you get a point. What and all the, tool, all the toys do different stuff, like flip other toys, push your toys. Okay. L Train on the board <laughs> here. Six to two ball game now. Uh, looking, uh, looking to come back. And we, uh, listen, we're on two outs, but we've got a good, uh, good set of characters to start rallying with. Uh, this character's definitely got some power behind him, especially with the star. Uh, let's see what he can do. And that's going to be a strikeout moving into the top of the six. My favorite CD game was Pajama Sam 2, You Are What You Eat From Your Head To Your Feet. And I, f no, that's number three. Number two is the weather one, which is called, There's No Need To Hide When It's Dark Outside. Are those games hard to beat as a child? Yes. Did you Honestly, beat them as an adult? I beat them as both. I beat, I beat, the only one I had growing up was I had one, but I didn't really like it. And then I had three, which is the food one. I think I'm getting that correct. Um, I beat the food one as a kid, but then I went back in my freshman year of college. They put them on Steam, actually. Mm, they put and everything I, on Steam. I know. Man. I went back my freshman year of college, and it was actually really nice just going through them. It's just a fucking stupid point and click. And it was, it was. I still had a good time, and you know, getting to see some of those silly characters again because the character design is very uh it's fun all right i remembered a game it might not be a i CD. wish i was pajama sam just wanted to get that out there <laughs> go on it might not be a cd but i think you know and love it as much as i do zoom beanie zoom beanie the absolute goat of logic puzzles would you <laughs> there's something on this i don't like <laughs>
fleens? <laughs> You're not fleens. <laughs> oh, Whatever you are, <laughs> I don't make me a pizza. <laughs> Is that their intro? That yeah. game's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> Fleens? That's awesome. <laughs> what is a fleen, bro? I don't know. Oh, dude. Zoom freaking beanies. Shout out to beanies. Dude, I got it. Would you? This is the pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> Get a. Matching. Zoom beanies tattoo with me. <gasps> What? Gotta find the coolest guy. You um, know? we have to include Mo because Mo's been nah, I'm for out, a magic I'm out, I'm out. Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I'm just kidding. You hate that bitch. That's a, I'm, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I all just right. thought it would be what funny. What if we all? That's we, a third homer for KB. Let's go. What how about we go on? You know, we all, we boot up the game, and then we we hit random, and we gotta commit to Zumbini's one, two, and three. The three of us. Getting them tattooed. Get whatever, some, whatever we get on random. Get some ugly ass zumbinis. You might get some garbage. If I get a, a motherfucker with spring or propeller legs, I was thinking I'm good. spring. <laughs> I was like, if I get a spring go, I'm out. No girls though. No girls zumbinis on my squad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mo might get jealous. Okay. Hear me out. <laughs> the, this is all right. The bit was was um. I've got to change the bit because how I had it originally in my head is not appropriate. And, and when I give the first bit, you'll probably be like, I see why you changed it. Okay. Um, if I'd get it on my balls. If you, if you were a god of the world, yes. would you make it so that, would, would you strategically change people to make logic puzzles easier if you had to like, say, bring the entire human population through the Sphinx puzzle and the space puzzle of Zumbinis? Would you be like, okay, no mustaches. Yeah, yeah, you have blonde hair. Try bridge three. Yeah, guys, everybody, everyone with blonde hair has got to go to bridge three. You're not allowed to have blonde hair with that shoes. I'm sorry. I like it. Are you saying like a trait I would eliminate? Yeah, what trait of the, the earth would you give up for? Because I mean, it's going to make the boat puzzle really easy if everybody's got the same hairstyle. I got... Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone on here. Be human. like, I'm sorry, men and women. I could do something. Crew cut. I could do something horribly evil, or I could do something really helpful. I don't think anyone wants to necessarily. What? No a way. Hold on, well, Cobra. It's out. Send him back. Sorry. What a jump. That was really high. In my. In my head, I'm like, do we have super? No, duper it's not super. Duper. I don't think. I don't think we do, but I wasn't here. Uh, I don't know. That anyway, one was not duper. Anyway, I think I'd get rid of uh, baldness. All right, all right. Some people are bald by choice. They're gonna have to suck it up. No, well, you can make yourself bald, I guess. What? But then when I go on the boat. <laughs> Hey, oh, you're and, right, you're right, you're right. Hey, you put right. me on the boat, I look to my left, I look to my right, and I go, uh-uh, with my shiny-ass head, and you gotta figure out how to match me by my shirt, and there's only one other guy with this shirt on the planet. Good fucking luck. You should have banned baldness outright. I banned baldness outright. Thank you're you. right. Thank what, you. what would you get rid of? Um, I can't say. <laughs> That's, I can't say. <laughs> I'd get rid of, uh... I get, <laughs> I get rid of penises. No more. It's either smooth or a vagina. Look, all I'm gonna say, or but just balls. I can't just say. Balls. Just balls. <laughs> all I'm gonna say. Mm, never mind. Dude, never how mind. funny would it be? What would you guys get rid of? Leave a <laughs> Do not leave a comment. Actually, just talk about it in your uh, your philosophy class. Give, give Outline your favorite Zumbini design. That's all you're allowed to do in the comments. I really was thinking, like, what's my least favorite trait, physical trait about human beings? But I just think that's a Yeah, I would scary. eliminate uh, greed and evil from my Zumbini population. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, sh I was... <laughs> this is this the bit the bit has worn itself out. I was out, gonna I say think. left handedness. Oh, uh, you know. Well, how could you? Oh, oh, oh! Could it be a big bobble? Yes. Lionel scoring another run. All right. This inning is is run time. 
Oh, this... uh, never mind. No, Wait, yes, mind. It's run time. Okay, listen. Still going. We've got a star in the tank. We've got we've got a superstar here. Ooh. That's gonna be a play. <laughs> All right, listen. We got we got one inning left. Let's see if Tyler can uh, add to his score here. Uh, Zumbini's is a great pull, though, man. Thanks, man. I, I don't think I've played all the mini games on it at this point. I don't think I've played them all. We spent so much time on the pizza. Oh, wow. wow. What a hit. We spent so much time on the pizza mini game. The, the, I'm sad that I solved it. It's. We. We kind of we we figured out a way to always win, but yeah, it's that's, not it's not like oh you'll it's win not it. optimized. Yeah, I guess. yeah, yeah. You can always guess to be optimal. It's it's Bogo is uh, the optimal pizza. What does that mean? Bogo sort. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, dude! Shout out Bogo sort. <laughs> my my favorite game. <laughs> my fa my favorite YouTube video I've ever seen. Bogo sort versus. Uh, Big sort? No, it had oh, a dumb Stooge name. sort? Stooge, it was versus Stooge. Stooge did it in like 20 variations and then Bogo went for 45 minutes. Oh, dude, that shit was awesome. All right. I've, I've seen Bogo get it in one. He's a beast when he does that. Yeah. I, I watched I, that shit like a movie with you. It was awesome. All um, right. What do you think about five runs. I've, I've got a great bit for the bottom of the ninth here really quick. Uh, you put me in a boxing ring, you blindfold me, you spin me around, my name's Bogo. Uh, and I just throw punches wildly and hope to get lucky. And, and, and everyone says, Bogo in one! What, what's the hypothetical? That's, wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, would, would I win any games? No! Like I, boxing? I might! Yeah, boxing! Depends. Uh, how, uh, how least trained is your least trained opponent? Uh, you. Put me in there with you. I, you cannot beat me. Blindfolded? No, you don't think, absolutely not. I know not. I can't beat that you straight up, but if I was blindfolded, strike. I might get lucky. The That's over, the game! Andrew, Use code Digger20 <laughs> to get 20% off of your G Fuel. Digger City out. We'll see you next time. Jesus. Thank you.